Hello BaliRadio.net listeners, welcome to BaliRadio.net again and it's been a great day today and it's only gonna get better because today we get a chance to interview Paul Rapp, the designer and let's meet him. Hi Paul, how are you? How are you doing guys? Uh, well, um, why don't we start by you telling us when and where you started your career as a designer? When I realized that I didn't have the coyones to be a smuggler. It was 1971, southern India, little island, little peninsula actually, that the Portuguese used to have called Goa. And the Indian Navy surrounded it in 1958 and became India. And fashion was the way I made my living because I had left America after making an American flag cigarette paper and the government wasn't too thrilled with me. so. Good time to leave. Okay. Well, did you always sort of knew that you wanted to be a designer? No, no. It, it just seemed to be people were asking me what did I get, what I was wearing, and uh, I would take them to a factory and make them up something. That's the way I fed myself. Okay. And um, how would you define your particular style that you have for your fashion designs? From dance floors, from beaches, from yachts, from anywhere where people are having a good time. And how would you define your style? How, how would you define your style? As an opportunist. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a good answer. Um, and where do you normally get your inspirations from? Making love. Okay. And. Um, which, uh, who is the fashion designer that you think is the fashion genius of all time? Well, I happen to be very fond of uh, people of the Lion Brand, which is a tribe of creative people. And uh, they're out of Holland. Incredible. People of the Lion Brand. And uh, do you think that uh, they have also uh, kind of influenced you in creating your own designs? Absolutely. When one is lucky enough to experience somebody who's doing something in a different way and it attracts you, it's, it's, uh, it's difficult not to be inspired by it and take it forward your way. And quoting from your website, uh, we read that, uh, I'm quoting it now, it's, my inspiration is based on sun and fun. My clothes are for people who want sensual freedom and movement or prefer to be naked. Do you care to elaborate a little bit about this? It's a very interesting statement. Well, I, I for one, feel very comfortable naked. And uh, I find that people who are free of the plumage uh, usually have a freer spirit and a freer, more open mind. And uh, the people that we create clothes for are those tribe of people, you know, who enjoy having, you know, a beach to run down or walk down and an ocean to swim in and to have a great time after skiing, being warm and colorful and have textures that represent handicraft because most of our product is handicraft. It's woven by hand, it's spun, the yarn is in some cases spun by hand, hand embroidery, hand block printing, labor intensive work. So. The people who buy our product are educated, well-traveled, uh, affluent, uh, and they know the value of such detail. And um, do you think that your style in designing is evolving? I mean, has it changed along the way? No. It, with every breath, it changes. Okay. And... Um, why did, why did you choose Bali to be your current home to design and to create? Well, we've recently, you know, in Bali we have uh, nine stores. Mm -hmm. And in, we opened up in Thailand about three years ago, and we now have uh, seven stores. So Asia is very interesting. Bali is my home. Mm -hmm. It's where my children were born, Nova and Sayang. And, you know, when, we, when they were born, we had to literally help create schools within the community, you know, because there were no foreign schools here. And some of the kids would go to local schools, which is great. And uh, 
But the kids here, you know, it was, it was a pleasure being here. And when I came to Bali, I fell in love with Bali. So this is my home. This is my children's home, and uh, I'm happy to be here. And, uh, well, uh, looking at it, you're based in Bali, and that Bali is uh, an international spot. A lot of people from all over the world are here. But um, which market would you say is your main market? I mean, is there a particular a uh, group of people or uh, people from a particular country that is your biggest market for your items? Well, our brand is, is, is dedicated to sun and fun mm -hmm. for people who prefer to be naked. The I can, it's done, what's next ilk of people. Uh, it's all transitory, so we're here doing what we do and we take our inspiration from where we can take it, and what I'm going to do next is what I'm doing now. And um, you see that in Bali there are now like many young designers, uh, new upcoming designers, and they're trying to create, and maybe Bali is also a nice place for people to be creative and create. What do you think about this whole f uh, scene, this fashion scene here in Bali at the moment? Well, there's a great uh, young budding designer, Mede Dekoni, uh, Lily Jean stores, and uh, she's quite, I know her for quite a long time from the time she took her first breath. So I'm very happy to see that generation come up, you know, and people who grew up who were born here, who are, happen to be foreigners, and uh, they are part of the community, they speak Balinese, they are, they speak Indonesian, you know, they're into the culture, and they live the culture, and they're employing people and growing and you know, this is a pleasure to see. Do you have any message for those people out there who are still trying to take their baby steps and wish to become a big designer one day? Yeah, leave the concept of trying behind and do it. Okay, and um, along your way as a fashion designer, is there any uh, experience in particular that is like the biggest one or the most memorable experience that you had? <laughs> Catching every breath that I take, you know, it's, uh, life is good, you know, it's, it's has its obstacles and um, for me, I think it's, it's, it's like when people interview me, they say, you, you know, you go to so many places, where do you like the best? Mm -hmm. And the answer inevitably is wherever I am. And it's the same. <laughs> Sounds very good. And uh, now it's the last question. It's not really a question. For everyone that we interview, we would like that person to request a song from our radio. It can be any song. What will your song request be? Uh, I, my singing days are long gone. I'm singing by the way I live. And may your viewers or your listeners get my song in my words. Okay, that's the first time we get that, but it's very unique and different for a change. Thank you very much, Paul. We had a great time talking with you, and I think our listeners has too. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with a lot of other things. Bye.